Finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today, I am finally disclosing my current favorite lipsticks. I just wanna apologize, I know that this video is long overdue. I told you guys I would get it up for you last week, but then I had awful technical difficulties. I actually did film this video and then went to upload it onto my computer and it was gone. It vanished into cyberspace. So that was really fun on Sunday night to discover because Sunday nights I edit and then Monday nights I upload. We are here now, that is all that matters. I can't wait to dive into it. I don't have too many products, so this will not be a long video. And considering the fact that I already filmed it, it should be pretty snappy because I already, you know, I had a test drive. That's a positive way that we can look at that. Without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get into my current favorite lipstick products video. Okay, so before I get into it, I just wanna do my usual announcements. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Fortune and this is my YouTube channel, Fortune Finds. I'm a heavy review channel, but I do like to do a lot of tutorials. You know, I do my makeup a lot. I've been doing my makeup for quite a few years now, so I do like to disclose some of my tips and tricks here and there, make things a little easier for you guys, and you know, just teach you how to not make the mistakes I have made along my makeup journey. If you are interested in this eye makeup look, which I think is bomb, I shall look the lips you know, a lot of this is drugstore makeup and that video will be up on Thursday. So click the bell button. This way you get a notification when that video does go live. So that's all that I want to say. That's all the time that I need. Now let's jump into it. What I'm currently wearing at the moment, this is the Colab Beauty. This is their About the Pout Tinted Lip Balm in Red Carpet Treatment. So this looks red. But it's just a bomb. So it's not that red once you put it on. It is really nice. It is super hydrating and gives you like that juicy, pouty lip. And that is really the theme of today's video. I am into a juicy lip. Juicy, juicy, pouty, deliciously hydrated lips. The same exact brand, the same exact lipstick, but the only difference is the shade is Birthday Suit. So this is a very, very, very nude lipstick. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's so nude, you like almost can't see it. Should I try it on? Maybe I'll try it on for you guys. Let me take this one off and we'll throw this guy on. I love the name though, birthday suit. I actually received this in a PR package three days before my birthday. So when I got it, I was like, yes, birthday suit. It's my birthday. And see, like I took that red one off, but it's practically like the same shade as my lips. Just like enhances them. So if you want like enhanced lips, that's a really good shade. And I love these because they have a pointed tips so you can really line the lips with them. And I just want to throw this on because that swatch was really crappy. And really doesn't give this shade the justice it deserves. But yeah, birthday suit. So it's like a nude. It is like the perfect nude and I love it for me. Now when I first put this on, I put it on and I was like, it feels really nice but the color kind of seemed like choppy and chalky. So honestly with this, you just need to give it like a couple minutes to really like melt into your lips. If your lips are really hydrated, you're not gonna get that. The day that I tried it on, my lips were a little chapped so it was kind of sitting in the little cracks and crevices of my lips. But today they're super hydrated. I've been wearing this bad boy all day long and I exfoliated this morning. So if you have exfoliated hydrated lips, this is going to look beautiful on you. I did not write down the prices of all of these things, but I will look them up and put them on the screen. So this is how much this one costs. Very affordable. Love them. And they come in a variety of shades. Collab Beauty actually sent me four, but these are the two that I have been wearing the most, especially this one again in birthday suit. Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain in the shade Honey Love. This is my summertime lipstick. So it's the same exact kind of idea. It's a hydrating tinted lip balm, but it's just a little bit darker. That, my friend, is a juicy pink lip. This Jordana one is a little bit more pigmented, I have to say, than the Collab ones, but honestly, I love them all. If I had to pick my favorite out of all of them, Honestly, I would pick the collab birthday suit. Like this has just been a staple every day for me. I wear this to the office. I wear this when I'm running errands. I wear this when I'm wearing no makeup, minimal makeup, full glam. Like this is so versatile. I mean, they all are. It's just a preference of color. Feels really hydrating, moisturizing. I think this is so beautiful in the summer. I actually wore this one. Mike and I went to Miami in December and I overlined my lips and then threw this on and he was like, 
holy crap, your lips look so big. And I was like, mm-hmm, yeah, a good juicy lip product, that's why. I've mentioned this so, so many times before, but this is the Maybelline Baddest Beige Lipstick. I've talked about this so many times. It's been in so many of my current favorite lipstick videos. So shiny, juicy, easy, lasts for a few hours. It's really nice and a great staple in anyone's collection. I think this is a nude that would look great on anyone. It's kind of like a beigey pink, but so, so pretty. This is such a good color. I love it so, so much. I kind of want to throw it on for you guys. Should we just throw it on? Let's just throw it on. We're having fun. This is a lip swatch video. These are my favorite videos. Such a good color. Like this reminds me so much of my MAC lipstick and faux for like a fraction of the price. I love the packaging. It's like this super pretty rose gold pink. Ugh, look at that. So juicy, lasts a really long time. Great, I honestly always keep this in my purse. Actually, I keep all of these lipsticks in this little bag and I just take this bag and move it from pocketbook to pocketbook to pocketbook because I use different pocketbooks every day because you know, your girl's just bougie like that. This was an accidental find. I found this, this is the Alme, one of their hashtag lip vibes in the shade Worry Less. I went to Harmon's with Mike because he needed to go to Harmon's and you know, your girl wasn't gonna say like, I'm not gonna go to Harmon's with you. Like when he says I'm going to Ikea, I'm like, okay, thank you next babe, I'll see you later. See you when you get back in three hours. But when he says he's going to Harmon's or Target or anywhere else where there's cosmetics, like your girl's in. And they had a blowout sale. It was like two, two lipsticks for $5 and I bought an assortment of these. I've tried a few colors. This one is my current favorite. This is in the shade Worry Less, which I love. And look how cute this packaging is. It has like a little like toucan looking bird in here, like very jungle. I don't love, I love the design of the packaging. I don't love that it's like cardboard. It kind of feels like flimsy, like cheapy, but it's okay because it was two for five dollars. This is just my kind of nude. Like anything with like a purpley lilac-y hue looks really, really good with my complexion. I look better with cool toned anything. Like I look better with a cool toned blush, a cool toned lipstick, cool toned shadow. Like this is just my jam. It looks so good. And this is actually a matte formula, but it doesn't feel matte at all. Like it feels really juicy. It feels really nice. It's like comfortable on the skin. I'm a really big fan. I can get behind this. Again, affordable. A lot of these are very affordable, except for one of the ones that I'm about to mention is like $35, but I'm mixing it up here. It makes me look alive. It makes me look well rested. The only thing is, it's like, this could be one of those shades where you kind of look dead. Like if this isn't a good shade for you, this might show up like blue, bluish hue on you. So that's the only thing to be a little wary of. But again, they, these are usually on sale, so if you see it, pick it up, try it. If it doesn't work out for you, give it to your sister, give it to your brother, give it to a friend, you know, whoever is gonna wear makeup. It was only a few dollars, so you know, you can't complain, so hey. I mentioned this product time and time again. This is affordable, this is NYX. This is in their Pump It Up Lip Plumper in Live, which is just a clear shade. I love this. Whenever I wear a matte lipstick, I throw this in the center. It makes any lipstick super comfortable and it has that lip plumping effect, so it's kind of tingly, but it feels really good on the lips. Nothing uncomfortable. It's just, it's amazing. And I literally wear this the most out of all my lip products. And I got a lot of lip products, so that says a lot. For my last two lipsticks, so like I said, we are powering on through this video, which is so amazing because honestly, it's like 9.30 at night. It is actually Sunday, so the new Game of Thrones is on now and I'm probably the only human on planet Earth that is not watching it. Mike is all caught up. I have one season left, so I couldn't watch it. I am not a big TV watcher. If you know me, I don't really watch TV. My time that is not spent at work, I'm either filming, taking Instagram pictures, working out, that's usually what I'm doing, working out, sleeping, napping, watching TV though, no. So the fact that I watched like 50 something episodes of a show and each episode is an hour long is mind boggling to me. I've never watched a show where nothing happy ever happens. Like nothing happy ever happens. It's draining, I'm emotionally tired. Every night when we finish an episode, this is literally me. Ugh. Why did we watch this show? Nothing happy ever happens. She is miserable 
this one's whole family is dead. Like, why do we have to see that gory, disgusting episode? Like, this is literally me after every single friggin' episode. And if you feel the same as me, I don't want to offend anyone, but if you feel the same as me, leave a thumbs up down below because your girl wants to know that I'm not the only human in the world emotionally attacked by Game of Thrones. Just saying it. I'm just saying it. Moving on to happier things like my Marc Jacobs lipstick. This is the Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar lipstick. Love this. This is the most expensive lipstick that I'm going to talk about. Most pigmented, most expensive. I'm such a big fan of this lipstick, cream lipstick. It feels really nice. It's super comfortable. It's long wearing. Like this will literally last me for three hours before I need to touch it up at all. So nice and it will last even longer if you line your lips and then fill in your lips with a liner and then simply throw this over it. It's so nice. It's so comfortable. I can't say enough things about it. Honestly, I think out of all of the lipsticks that I'm mentioning today, this one is by far my favorite. However, it is not my most worn lipstick. I didn't know that might not make any sense. Like you would think your favorite lipstick you wear the most, but this isn't like super versatile. I have to say like the birthday suit one, like I can wear this when I'm wearing no makeup at all and it looks really good and I look put together. This one, if I wore this without any makeup, like I would look dead, you know? You know what I'm saying? So love it not my most worn lipstick but a really really beautiful lipstick and last but not least actually this one might be the most pigmented one i have and most colorful one that i have oh my god i'm so excited for it and this one holds a near and dear place in my heart because it's so cute for my birthday mike bought me this milk makeup lipstick which i'm so excited because i've never tried milk makeup ever and then mike was so cute to like go out and get me this lipstick and was like i've never seen you like use this makeup brand before which i thought was so cute and so thoughtful it is in the shade wifey oh my god it's so cute this is a matte lipstick i be a little careful because it's not really like nude nude it's like a berry but i'm going to show you how i wear this so this is like a little much for me when I'm at my corporate job like I don't want to have like a super berry lipstick on I like something that's more easy to wear more versatile so this is exactly what I do I will take this lipstick put it on like I just did and it is a matte it's a very very comfortable matte so if you wear it alone it's totally fine this is not like a lipstick that's gonna be dry and drive me crazy as matte lipsticks usually do take my NYX lip plumper and I just go over this bad boy But to me, it just kind of makes it like a little bit more wearable in the office. I don't know. It just looks like more easy, put together, natural. I don't know. But this is what I do. And then that NYX, you give a little bit and it gives a little bit of a plump. So my lips look a little juicier, fuller. And yeah. So that is all of my current favorite lipstick products. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite current lip product is i love lip products so leave them down below i would love to test them out and try them i'm always looking for the next best thing i actually just did an article i have a blog my url is myfortunefinds.com so i have my youtube channel i have my blog and then you can find me on social media but i actually just did a blog post on mac lipsticks and in my little post i was talking about how i'm still trying to find like the one perfect everyday lipstick Honestly, I think like I've come really close to it, but I don't know. I just want to find like that perfect nude lipstick. Like I have really, really good nudes that I wear on the daily, but like if I ran out of any of these, I think I would be able to find something similar to them. But I think that just might be me asking for a lot because I feel like in the beauty world and beauty industry right now, there's so much out there that it's like never ending. Just it's so much competition that it's like I'm always looking for more. So I don't really think that that's fair, but I am still looking for that lipstick where the shade is impeccable. There's nothing else like it. If they discontinued it tomorrow, I would die. So if you have a favorite, be sure to leave it down below. Again, I do like a good juicy lip, but I haven't been wearing matte liquid lipsticks. That's just not my vibe lately. If you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I love lip swatch videos. And if you are a lipstick fanatic like I am, you're going to love my channel. These are my favorites. I love lipstick. Also click the bell button this week, get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a video. I upload twice a week. I say Mondays and Thursdays, but you never know because my life's been a little crazy lately. Easter is next weekend. The weekend after that is my engagement party. 
so it's just been like a game of like chicken and like ketchup so I don't really know but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had a great time as always thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one bye finders Mwah.